Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! I'm delighted to be joined by Russell Kane, the Essex man, whose oh. canings or rants yep. are completely mesmerising and, as far as I'm concerned, pretty scary on everything from rail bosses to Trump to the idiocy of New Year resolutions. Now, um, Russell, why yes. are you so <laughs> angry? No, no, a second, are you going to get angrier this year? We've got a bit in the gallery about how long your vowels are going to be during my interview. <laughs> <laughs> because are you winning during, or losing? During the first half, you did 1.8 seconds on Theresa May. So, um, <laughs> just want to see if you break your personal best. Shoot, Andrew, not Andrew, that's the other one, Robert. Whatever yeah. my name is. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> so, so yeah. rantings. Going to get angrier or less angry this year? And have you got anything to say well, about the single market? Is, does the single market get you going? I've been miscast as a political person. I really am not going to disappear at my own you-know-what. Uh, well, hang on, those rants are pretty political no, in terms. I, I will do anything on see-through panes in toilets because I checked into a hotel Massively recently. Massively attract Southern Rail's bosses. Yes, I do. Whatever is the trending topic I attack, it doesn't have to be political. The single do you believe market, in it? Do I believe do, in what? When you, uh, do, you, do your rants reflect what you actually believe or are they just designed to make sense? I laugh? take my viewpoint mixed with comedy. I, the role of the jester for me isn't to be in the seat of power. Right. It's at the side of the king with a hobby horse stick, able to joke and be mischievous about everything. I have a sort of, not low-key, but low-key type uh, no, view. Now, the single, the single market might well be amusing next week. It's drier than a mouthful of sand well, dust. Give us Trump. Trump. You're, You're on a tour at the moment. Presumably, does the single market get a look in during the tour? It's interesting. I mean, so, well, you, 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 you see programmes like this and see you guys going to single market think about the customs unit. Do you, know, do you realise that no one knows what that means? Yes. Why don't you say in brackets afterwards, this is what it is? Mm. Because my cousin Darren just wants to know, can he sell silk cut on the market <laughs> after next year when he brings yeah. a thousand back in his suitcase? <laughs> <laughs> it. Philip, it's interesting that Philip Hammond said, well, at least, if, um, you know, at least if we're out of the single market, we can become a tax haven. Only a Tory could find a sulphur lining in that cloud. Right, OK, well done, indeed. Uh, yeah, I think as Alistair says, I'm not sure your mate should be bringing back Silk Cut now, should he, in the loads that he is. But uh, yeah, so I'm not sure yeah. the world changes as much as... Uh, but, but, uh, but Trump, Trump... Listen, my views on people like Trump... Corbyn yep. and Farage, why do I put them in the same category? I'll tell you why. Because for the last 10, 15 years, while I was at uni, I went to uni in 1997, just before weapons of mass destruction weren't discovered. And, uh, Long time before, actually. Yeah, we had three uh, wins before that. And uh, So I was on the t t Tony Blair type wave. And um, a lot of people, yep. my sort of age and younger, a lot younger, don't care and haven't cared about politics, find it totally boring and switch off and watch the cooking programme on the other channel. Trust me. Yes, what's, better, what's been great about the last five years is, yeah. whether you like or loathe what people are saying, some people have come along with opinions. If you go back a couple of years ago, you sort of Miliband and David Cameron going, I think it should be 1.1, I think it should be 1.2, and no one cares because you all think the same thing. Then Farage comes along and goes, you know, I like fags, I like beer, and Polish people make a jet of wee come out, I'm so nervous. And you think, fine. Finally, someone who believes something. I disagree with it, mm. but debate is ignited. Then we've got Corbyn come along, who's sort of got his Hessian jacket weaved from his own body hair. Save Palestine. <laughs> and I, it's nice to have a bit of proper debate. Mm. No, I think that's the sort You'd of... You'd rather everyone think, sort of PR no, man I in think the it's, middle. No, I don't. I think it's the triumph of dumbing down that, that you think that... That's it, dumbing up, surely. No, it's not. For Farage, <laughs> to say that Farage is kind of welcome contributor, because you've got Trump, who, as Robert said to Piers Morgan, is a sort of proven liar, and we like that because it's more interesting. I think that's what takes politics down to the level no, that we've debate. now got. I don't agree. No, it might, for you it's, lot... Yes, ignited debate. I'll give you that. No, ignited debate in pubs and youth clubs and unis. That's what you guys don't but do you, do you see. Think people, no, that's but, what but do you think the people want. who come and see you are actually going to vote? Hopefully, yeah. I think, I think there'll be and more... And should they? Do you, after do, the do, Brexit do you think people should vote? Yes, and after the Brexit vote, I think more people will. It was depressing to, to learn that sort of old people have more of a, a say in the yeah, Brexit vote, sure. which, which doesn't make... Yeah, but these young people that you say are great because they sort of think Trump and Farage and Corbyn are more interesting, they're the ones who are now complaining about Brexit and a lot of them just couldn't be asked to go and vote. Well, then, that's more for them. They should have gone out and voted. Yeah, exactly. If, we, if you tell them that, the, that they're all the same and they're all boring and all the rest of it, then they're going to be put off. Well, they were before. That, the, the, they were. They're, just made, they're trying people. to do complicated things. If, Politics if you've is... got two people having a fight in a pub, you don't want to see them hugging. You want to see them slugging at each other, just like you and Piers yeah. were. <laughs> yeah. It's entertaining. And the truth yeah, is not entertainment, is it? Politics is not entertainment. Do you want, that's the only way you're going to hook in the average person. Yeah, but then you end up with board. Trump and Brexit, and it's a disaster for the world.
Well, that remains to be seen. Well. There's a lot of people who would disagree with you, 52%, to be precise. 52% of a lot who didn't vote. And do you have any sense of the politics of the people who get excited? I mean, you're on a tour at the moment. Do, do, is, there, is there interaction with the crowd? Do you get any sense yeah, of what's really getting them angry? I'll tell you what's, go I'll tell you what's going, on, going on. I voted re Remain, okay? yeah. which you have to be slightly embarrassed about these days. Really but I, I was like a third way... Do the people who come to see you, are they Remainers? Or are They're they... half and half. I'm a, what I call a third way Remainer. There was three ways to vote at that referendum. There was Remain, Leave, and there was Remain and yeah. Be Really Annoying. Yeah. Do what the Greeks do. Say, we owe a lot of money, we're not paying it, um, I, I smash my plate. And when does the tour start? The tour has been going on since last July. That's it's what been, I thought. It's been extended, thought. It's been extended till this July. It's, it's more... extended till this July. Uh, OK. Now, I unfortunately, we've run out of time. Oh. Thanks to all my guests. <laughs> by Robert, if you next week, time the Prime Minister battle. will have finally <laughs> confirmed <laughs> we're out of the European <coughs> single <laughs> union market. I'm taking too long with these vowels. How different will the world actually feel? Tune in next week to find out.